I'm Vanessa Clark. I'm a grandmother of four little cuties, a volunteer, and I quilt. Well, to understand me, you have to look at the butterfly. See, Vanessa means butterfly. That's the way I kind of live my little life. I just kind of flutter. I find a project, I stay there a little while, and then I flutter off and find another project. As a volunteer, um, you cannot put a price tag on the value it is to a community. I think we make a community by our volunteerism. The course of my life, I've been able to serve on many nonprofit organizations on their boards. Later on in my life, I became the executive director of Main Street Cleveland. Many people that knew me referred to me as Mini Mayor because you would see me around the courthouse square promoting downtown events. One of the events that we started was the Main Street Cruise In. This is where they brought vintage cars to the Main Street. Today, it is still going on 19 years later. I'm kind of proud of that. I also have a picture of Dan Quayle. Um, the Tennessee Medical Association uh, had their annual convention in Chicago, and this was taken at the uh, Drake Hotel. And he was sitting in the lobby, and some of the girls says, Dan Quayle's in the lobby. I said, oh, he is. Uh, well, you know, I just had to go up and introduce myself and get a photograph. I started quilting because I wanted to finish my quilts from start to finish. I tried on the domestic, and it just really wasn't enough for me. And so I did my research, and I picked Handy Quilter. And I'm glad I did. You are here in my sewing studio. When I moved to Dothan, Alabama, the one criteria for looking for a home was a room to put my sewing equipment. I am up here almost every day. In fact, I kind of treat it like a job. I get ready in the morning, I do my little er errands and little chores because I have to get upstairs to do some sewing. My day's not complete unless I'm up here. And I love being up here and it's really funny because my daughters will call, what are you doing, Mom? Quilting. It's 90% of all the questions they ask. Uh, what are you doing? Quilting. <laughs> sewing. I just love my space. Quilting has become integrated in my grandchildren's life. I have been commissioned by my daughters to do quilts for their bed. I have two little cuties that live here in Dothan, Alabama, and the other two little cuties are less than two hours away in Tallahassee, Florida. You know, I was very fortunate when my children were being, were little, that my mom and dad actually lived with us. And to have that extra support was so beneficial for me that as a grandmother, I want to be there for my little grandbabies. And, you know, I hope that I am able to give them words of wisdom, love them unconditionally, and I hope that I'll be that sounding board for them, just like my parents were for my two daughters. When Lori, my youngest, was, uh, I was expecting her, I made a quilt for her and it was uh, Peter Rabbit. And I cross-stitched the little blocks. That child carried that quilt for all the way through college, 35 years. Well, when we were getting ready for my daughter's uh, second child, Darcy, I said, okay, Lori, Darcy needs a little rabbit quilt. And so I have this on the long arm. Maybe this is going to be something that Darcy will just carry with her. And it comes full circle. That's very special. I love quilting. I love creating a legacy that when I'm gone, my grandbabies will say, 
I remember when Grandma made this. I'm Vanessa Clark. I'm a grandmother of four little cuties, a volunteer, and I quilt.